What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I have had a request to do an old school car chat. <laughs> I guess I used to do them quite often when I was traveling uh, from place to place and I haven't done one in a while. So with that request, I decided to do one today. And I'm sorry about the angle here. I have you propped up on my dashboard. Uh, so the angle isn't so flattering, I guess you could say. Anyway, um, how you guys liking the shorter hair? I think I may want to just take it up to here. I don't know yet, but you know, once I start cutting, then I like to do a chop. But anyway, I, I digress as always. This is my life. Um, so what I want to talk to you about is terzepatide because a lot of people ask, is this life long for me? How do I know when to stop? All the other things they want to know the like nitty gritty of the medication. So I figured today would be that day. Let me first start by saying to you, I have never, even when I wasn't struggling with my weight, I have never felt so uh, able to go through my day without thinking about food as I do now. The medication corrects two hormones, and that's another question I get quite often. There's no major blood test to check, although there is some blood tests. Uh, how I knew I had this deficiency just came about because I yo-yoed a lot on the eating program that I was on. I lost a lot of weight and then I struggled. And I feel like that low of calorie that I was on really messed me up. It messed up my hunger hormones. And those hormones are GLP-1 and GIP. The two hormones regulate metabolism. They control your hunger. It is a naturally made hormone, both of them for me, in the body. And sometimes we become deficient. And lo and behold, I'm deficient. <laughs> How do I know? How do you know that you're deficient? Well, if you struggle with losing weight, if you have the kind of day where you're, you're hearing in your head, it's time to eat, I'm hungry, what's next? Never really feeling satisfied after you eat. Like after you eat, you may feel good for about an hour and then become hungry again or start thinking of food. Food ran my life for the last few years. It was an alarm set on my phone, when to eat, how to eat, what to eat, what not to eat, the amount to eat, all of those things, which really is not healthy. It's not healthy. That is with any program. I'm not specifically speaking of the one that I was on, but I have to because that was the one I was on. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, right? So, a normal person who doesn't have um, a struggle with weight, who doesn't track, who does, who just goes about their day eating like most humans, animals, like you don't see an animal out in the wild tracking macros. You don't see an animal in the wild running to the store saying, I'm craving ice cream, I'm craving this. They eat what's available naturally, right? Unless like they find a house with some nice humans who decide to feed them. But in the wild, there's no eating program, dieting, gaining weight, all this other stuff. Um, so I found that quite interesting that my life revolved around my cell phone beeping every two and a half hours. And it became where I was conditioned to eat. But the calories were so low that at the end of the day, when it was time to eat like a regular meal, I was so hungry, guys. And I tried really hard to suppress it for a long time, but it just became a really bad cycle. It became a cycle of eating the meal, which was satisfying for a little while, but then it was like, all of a sudden I had a taste of food. So you wanted other things, you wanted more. It became, it was fear inducing of anything, even like an extra piece of broccoli 
was scary. Oh, I can't have that. It's not within my three cup range. Like that, looking back, is very dangerous. So I fortunately went to a doctor, my doctor, and had some blood work done and found that all of my inflammation markers were jacked. Cholesterol, high. Just all kinds of things were askew. For like almost the first time in my life, I was really nervous because, you know, your labs kind of give a picture of your health. So um, I couldn't get out of that binge eating cycle either. Like I would be good for a couple days and then it was like all hell would break loose. Not normal, right? I'm starting to sweat because I'm in a sweater and it's, it's getting warmer out. Ooh, hold on, you guys. Woo! Okay, so long story made short, I said to my doctor, I'm struggling here. I'm not sleeping. I feel like crap. I'm tired all the time. My face was bloated. My hands were bloated. I just felt crappy. And I was not willing to feel crappy anymore. So we discussed the possibility and likelihood of after going through menopause and all of that, that I was deficient in these hunger hormones and that taking this medication that I'm on, terzepatide, Zepbound, other names and variations are Manjaro, um, Wagovi, there's Ozempic, which only targets one hormone, mine targets both. So we decided to try it out. So. I researched heavily into uh, a compound pharmacy because originally I thought my pharmacy or my insurance policy would cover it. That was the original thought, but then it turned out it didn't. So I found Fridays. I'm not affiliated. I get no kickbacks, but Join Fridays has been amazing. I pay uh, $179 a month for my meds, $100 a month, so making it $279 for my meds, for unlimited telehealth, groups, nutritionists, like everything, and it has made the world of difference. I am shy 25 pounds down since June 18th. It is now October 1st, October. So June 18th, July, August, September. So three and a half months, I'm almost at 25 pounds down. And I can tell you, there has been effort made because the medication, even though it helps these hunger hormones, it corrects your deficiency, you still can't just eat lollygaggly. And the medication doesn't work for weight loss. What it's doing is it's correcting my deficiency to recognize that I'm full, to recognize that I don't hear food noise, that chattering sound in the head that, ooh, there's a cannoli in the fridge, ooh, you're hungry, ice cream, Wendy's, whatever. It's gone. And it's because of the medication. That is how a normal person goes about their day. Someone who doesn't have a deficiency does not think about food all the time. Someone with a deficiency doesn't try a gazillion meal plans to try to lose weight. When you're deficient in these hormones, it is a clear indicator that you think of food, you can't lose weight, you're not sleeping well, your inflammation markers are high, your cortisol is elevated. It just, there's so many things that surround the deficiency. So with all of that aside, I have been doing great. I get compound terzepatide through the company join Fridays. I inject myself. I draw it up myself. I have a video on how I drew it up, how I inject it, how I store my meds, the whole thing. It has been a life changer. I'm, I'm not even joking. I sleep well. I feel great. Aches and pains are gone. I'm almost due for my, um, retest of labs, which should be really interesting because I want to see where I'm at. Um, I know inflammation is down because I could see it in my face. I'm not bloated anymore. Like the weight is coming off. I'm down in sizes. More importantly, I want my health to be good, better, excellent, top of the notch. <laughs> That's what I want. Top of the notch. Ah! And I just beeped my horn. So that must mean something. Um, 
I also feel like it's gotten rid of some other things. Breast tenderness, gone. Like, I'm really making an effort to choose the right kinds of foods. And the medication helps with that. So, for instance, I am not staying away from carbohydrates for so long. You know, because I've done keto, carnivore, the eating plan. Like, I've always tried to keep my carbs low. I don't do it anymore. I literally don't. I eat whatever I want, but I do moderation. So I'll give you an example. This morning, I had an English muffin with an egg white, a slice of cheese, turkey bacon. It's by Jimmy Dean. I think it's called Jimmy Dean Delights. That's what I had for breakfast many hours ago, and I haven't thought of food once. Okay. Now it's it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon. Again, I haven't thought of food once, but I'm starting to slowly feel like I'm getting hungry. So because I'm driving around all day, this is what I have. It's 30 grams of protein in one shake. And it's not even a shake. It's made with milk. So I'm about to have this. It's a fair life nutrition plan. I call it a shake. It's not really a shake. It's just 30 grams of protein. It's got two grams of sugar, 150 calories, uh, vitamins and minerals, no artificial growth hormones, nothing. So this is pure protein for me. This will carry me well into dinner time. And then for dinner tonight, the plan is to either have, if you watched my grocery haul yesterday, I bought um, a mushroom chicken and rice frozen meal. I don't know if I'm gonna have that. I do have um, some salmon. I may make a sweet potato with it and a vegetable or a salad. I don't know. I also have ground turkey, so I might make ground turkey tacos and I will have a taco shell. No big deal. This is the magic of the medication. When I, when I used to be afraid to eat that way, it was because I was always afraid I would overindulge and nine times out of 10, I would. With this medication, I could have one or two tacos and that's it. I'm full. Sometimes I can't even finish it and I don't want more after. That is how the hormones in our body are supposed to work. They tell the brain that you're full before you get to the part where you're overeating. That's it. You have to do the work. So many say, oh my gosh, I'm not losing weight. Like, what am I doing wrong? What you're doing wrong is you're thinking the medication is going to magically melt the fat away. That's not what it does. You have to choose foods that are healthy and indulge maybe once in a while, but don't think that you're going to eat, you know, pancakes, bowl of spaghetti and mashed potatoes and candy bars for dinner and lose weight. You have to eat balanced. So at every meal, I try to have a protein, fat, carb, vegetable, that. That's what I try to have. That little shake that I just showed you isn't exactly as balanced as I would like, but the protein for me is the most important. I want to keep my muscle. I want to keep, you know, satiated and the protein does that. I will be revealing my blood test results as soon as I get them back. I got a, my doctor's appointments coming up. So I will keep you posted on that. And for those of you on the medication and succeeding, leave a comment, let everybody know how your journey's going and we can all help one another, right? Women helping women and men, you're also welcome as well. All right, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.